Welcome to a Fragment Android tutorial. So Fragments are somewhat to similar to activities in that the activity shares one screen. So um, let's show a uh, tablet. So an activity shows an entire screen. A fragment can be a part of that screen. So you can have um, fragment A be over here and fragment B be over here. And that way you can have two fragments, two views next to each other. Now, why wouldn't you just just create two views? That would be a simpler approach, wouldn't it? And it would, but not for every case. You see, there's times where you want to separate your activities because they're different functions. So one activity might be a list of a list of contacts in your text messaging app, and another activity will be the messages from that one contact. So you can't just have the view over here and just the list over here on the phone. It would it would look weird. It wouldn't really look right. So what happens is you can actually separate. You can make it so when you're on a tablet, you can have half of the screen one fragment, and half the screen the other fragment, and on a phone you can have it to where it only does one fragment. And what I'm talking about is similar to this. <clears throat> so when on the phone, you have a list, and when you click a item on a list, it goes to that list item. On a tablet, you have a list. You click on that list item, and it pops up on the other side of um, the contents of that list item. So we're going to try to implement that right now. So the best way to do that is right-click on the package, do New, Fragment. We're going to make this Fragment A. Now, all right. Now we need some way to <coughs> link the fragments. So what that is, how we're going to do that is, we're going to link them to our relative layout. So whenever one of our fragments is um. How you say it um is shown it's shown in one of these views and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a linear layout we're gonna make this half and half this and there we go now they're both half now we're going to make fragment a a red color. Get rid of this. Background at um first I get a color Android and Android material color. So I get a color for one of these. So I get the red right here. So 
I'm going to focus on this one first. <clears throat> and we're going to add this one to that M. So we need the fragment manager. This manages our fragments within our main activity. Call this fragment manager equals get support fragment manager. Now I need the transaction, fragment transaction, which is going to control the fragments and add them to our layout right here. So We want our fragment to appear in this fragment container A in here. Fragment manager and begin transaction. Fragment manager and we need we need to And we need our fragment transaction. We're going to add a fragment to our, again, our um, fragment container A. So how we're going to do that is we're going to give a reference to the fragment container A, and we're going to get the fragment that we just created, fragment A, I create that, A equals new, fragment A, fragment A, and now here's the most important part, you have to do dot commit, which makes it happen. <coughs> so again, we're taking, we're adding fragment A to our container, fragment container A, which is right here, right here. Now we're going to play it and see if it works. Let's see if it works. And we have an error. Uh, oh, that's right. We have to implement something before we do that. We have to implement every time on fragment interaction listener. Not exactly sure what that does, but you have to do it. <laughs> okay, now that worked. But we want a different result. We want it from left to right, actually. I changed my mind. Horizontal. See what that looks like. Okay, I fixed the problem where it was taking up the whole entire screen. What was happening was this, the width was wrap content, so whenever you're doing layer and layer, just do zero TP. And now this is fixed. Now let's add the other one. So let's new fragment blank fragment B. 